Hi everybody, welcome to DIY Dream Weddings UK. I'm Kim and I create bespoke wedding bouquets and connect with you online to create the bouquet of your dreams. And perhaps I don't need to say that on every video, but sometimes people don't know who I am. So that's why I say it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I'm on the next part of this um, sunflower wedding bouquet. And um, we rib we um, didn't ribbon. We put the material on the back from the last video, if you want to have a look. And I've decided to do yellow, but I wish I'd done brown now. And we put the handle in here like this. Okay. And we're going to ribbon that up later on or cover it somehow. So you can see how these flowers look. And it does look yellow and yellow, but I think we could just do some other colours in between. Um, maybe some golds and things just to um, bring out this material perhaps. Yeah, anyway, that's an idea. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this sunflower. And you would have seen, might have seen this on another video. And if you have... I'm sorry, and if you haven't, this is how it works, okay. I wanted to show you a different way, if you have actually, I'm going to show you a different way of doing this, okay. And it might be easier for you to follow. And I'm hoping that we can get this all in on one video because I have had a little bit of problem with space again. So for the stamen, which is obviously this part in the middle, we need to do a long strip, okay. Of our craft foam and in order to do that I like to measure it the width of the stamen at one centimeter so I'm going to measure from the top of the foam to the bottom to from the top one centimeter from the top of the foam and all the way along and you can do the whole length of the uh, the uh, piece of foam that you've got because you need quite a lot because you need it to be quite wide okay I don't think I know this isn't wide enough so we'll just add a piece on Okay, and then we're just going to make a strip the width of one centimetre all the way along. Okay, just so that we've got quite a chunky, a chunky stamen there. Okay, so we're going to cut that strip off. Okay, like this. I'm going to do some more flowers later on. I don't think I'm going to do them on this video. I'll do them on a different video because um, I haven't really got them uh, done yet. I might show you at the end if I have time. So we're going to cut along here vertically, just like this. Okay, if I have time, I'll show you what flowers I'm thinking of putting on to the, um, onto the bouquet, what other ones. Okay, so just go all the way along. I've cut out all the petals for the flower. And you need nine or ten of each petal, and we've got different size petals for um, our sunflower. Okay, so I'll show you what they look like, the templates, and you can make them up yourself. I just freehanded mine. Um, you just need different shapes and sizes because if you look on some of the sunflowers, they have uh, small, medium, and large um, petals. Not all of them, some of them do, and that's where I got it from. I saw a sunflower and I just kind of copied it. Um, the way that I thought would look nice and um, you can have actually what I was going to say is you can have a smaller sunflower by just putting less petals on so you don't have to have three um, three um, uh, different size petals so what you can do is you could just do the inside petals if you know what I mean and you've got a smaller sunflower okay so let me show you with the petals we have um, different sizes here okay big thin and small and I just put them on in layers okay that's how I make my sunflower okay so what we're going to do now is just make our stamen and I'm just going to cut my little bit off there because it's a little bit wide okay um, this is all made with craft foam so what I'm going to do is just put some glue just inside my stamen like that or inside my foam like that and just push that down so I've got something to hold on to when I roll it over so I'm going to roll this in one I know normally do about two rolls and then what I'll do is put a piece of glue on the next bit and then roll it twice again let me just I'm gonna go and draw the curtains just so that you 
that sun isn't getting in your way. Okay, so you just keep going with that all the way along. <clears throat> when I've got enough hands, I will um, go and draw the curtains. Sorry about that. It's the sun that actually can't really see it on here that much. But when that comes out, it's really horrible to try and watch when this uh, when the shadow's on. I think it's all right though, but last time it was near the end of the video and it was okay. So yeah, so just basically just gluing that down. So I hope you're enjoying these videos and um, the, we'll, there'll be some new stuff coming soon, some really new stuff. So do hang on in there. And we've got um, some brand new projects. They're not going to be like this. They're going to be completely different. So there we are. That's that. And really you can see you need more width on there. So I'm going to add some more. I don't think that's big enough. It's not long enough. Um, oh, it might be. They don't all have to be the same size. That kind of works. Should we do that or should we put an extra bit more on there? For this, for the sake of this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this on because otherwise it's going to be more time on the video. So what I'm going to do is just put some glue on there. So if you haven't got a long enough piece, just add it on like this, okay? Yeah, we're still going, aren't we? So I moved my video, so I'm just to tell you what's going on the other end of the things. Um, it can get a bit complicated when you're doing videos and downloads and stuff. And um, I moved uh, one of my videos onto an SD card, but I'm not sure if it's saved any space. It should have done, but I'm hoping it has. There we go. So that is a little bit bigger. You could do a bit bit more on there but I think we'll get away with that and it doesn't matter if they're different sizes it really doesn't you just put less petals on okay so when we're doing our petals we want to make them like this so they're pointed on the end and how you do that is you just take your petal and you just squeeze the end and what I do is I use a piece of grease proof paper just to prep, protect my fingers you can still feel the heat through that paper but it's less likely to burn, I think. And I count to about 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Or as long as the heat proof paper will stick. So sometimes it still sticks. So I'll wait and then take that off. Uh, parchment paper it's called as well. Okay, so right. So yeah, I'm going to be doing some different stuff in the future. And I'm a little bit, you know, a bit like I was with the material for this bouquet. Not sure if it's going to work. So we'll do a smaller one because we've got one, one more small one. This is These small ones you could make a tiny bit bigger than what I have. Because otherwise you've got not as much foam to pinch inwards. And not as much petal to glue to the flower. So maybe make them a little bit bigger than this, okay. Uh, I'm just counting again. You can see that's still sticking, so I'll just wait until that is, there we go, it's coming off. <laughs> Part of the reason is if I take that off too early, this will come apart and we don't want that on our um, sunflowers. <coughs> like I said, excuse my, my cough, I've got a bit at the end of a cold still. Um, you want um, nine or ten of each of these, or you might need, use less, but that's the best best bet. Okay, so each one, nine or ten. And we start with our small flower, our small petal, um, which is at the beginning. You can see that's the smaller petals there. Um, let me just draw the curtains. Draw the curtain across. Um, if I can do, oh, if I can get as far around to do that. Is it there? Let's just see, hold on. It's not there. That's just on there, isn't it? Just that one there. That's it. <laughs> Chasing the sun round. I'm sorry, sun. Just need to record stuff. So, right, so we're going to bring our petals in, our small ones. I hope that's better for you. 
and we're going to put a little piece of glue on to our small petals a small petal and stick that on like that and then we're going to go all the way around and we're going to do the same with each petal <coughs> excuse me I'm so sorry let's have some water I wanted to do a few more videos on here let me know if that's a good idea or not okay so just a little bit of glue on there and then just stick if you see what I mean, there's not as much to stick the petal to, uh, to stick the petal on if you do it too, too small. So we're doing it like that. We're just kind of copying what we've done on the other flower, and we just do them all the way around. Before I showed you a different technique, but I think this is easier because you're just adding the flowers in la uh, petals in layers. Okay. Um, watch out for them glue strings guys okay <laughs> so right let me just <laughs> keep adding these on okay as many as you need on your um, stamen it depends whether you've got any gaps once you've got them on there um, so we go all the way around I'll try to do this as quickly as I can <laughs> because these flowers do take a little bit of time this one takes the longest out of all of them <laughs> you might have seen a time lapse on this as well and that was done a different way when um, I did it on the time lapse video which is a quick video if you don't know what time lapse video is it's um, a fast a faster video so you can see it done quicker so if you um, do it this way, I think it will be uh, easier than doing it doing it the other way. Um, so I hope you're all, all well and uh, doing fine and um, enjoying what you're seeing here. And thank you also to all those um, new subscribers that have jumped on. That's really nice of you to come and join and see what's happening. So I'm going to do one more there because you can see that's just about right actually because that's all the petals I've got left. Okay, so we're going to just put that in there like that. So we've got eight or nine of those. Okay, uh, one, <coughs> one, two, three, four. I think it's nine. So then we're going to put these ones on, which are your longer petals, okay? The ones underneath. Okay, so what we're going to do is take our long ones and we're going to stick those in between, in between the smaller petals. So we're going to just stick these just in between. I'm not sure how tall we want these. Let's move that down a little tiny bit, move that down a bit. Okay, so you don't want them too tall. That's it. Okay, you make all your petals quite long, just so you've got something uh, to stick them to. So you've got a bit of petal on the end to stick them down. Try and make them all the kind, the same sort of length as you stick them on. Okay, doesn't really matter, but I think it looks more uniform that way. Okay, and if this video stops recording. Then what you do is you take your, you stick it all the way along and then you put your big ones behind and in between these ones. Okay, that's what you do. Okay, so we just keep going. Because sometimes I look up and I'm like, oh my God, it isn't, there's no video. It's not recording and I have to stop. Let right, me go. I think it's a bit like, um, there's a late, uh, there's a video YouTube uh, channel that I watch and it's called Crafty by Tony. I don't know if you watch that, but she's always trying to make her, well, she was trying to make her videos shorter because she does long videos, but I love long videos. So if you're watching Crafty by Tony or Tony, <laughs> should I say Tony? Um, I love your videos. She does um, junk journal videos 
and she does some really lovely stuff so if you're into paper making go on just go on go, go and hop on to crafty by tony she's really good yeah so um she does these lovely uh videos so she's so creative you don't know what she's going to do next okay so um, and it's a lot of mixed media if you like mixed media you'd love that i think okay so that's a shout out for tony Right, so I'm just going to keep going with these. It's a little bit of a slow process, but we have got a bit of time to work on this. Okay, so we will. I'm going to get some different flowers soon, and they'll be a little bit um, less time consuming than this one. But keep going with your, your petals all the way around. And then, where are we? We're still going with this. So moving that video on did help. That's great. I need to edit it. I'm hoping I can edit it where it is. Okay, there we are. Right, so so many editing. And I hope you've saw, also seen that I have some lovely bouquets uh, in my shop. Uh, I keep saying in my shop. On my website. I haven't sorted my shop out yet. So ignore me if I say on my shop. It'll only be when, I, when I've actually done it. And I'll tell you when that is, okay. But I've got some lovely bouquets for sale on my website. All you've got to do is go into the link in the description on this um, on this video. And you can see my website with all my bouquets on there. So if you're a bride looking to buy something or to see what I can create, um, the finished products are all on my website, okay. There we are. So one more. So we're just going in between those those thin petals we just put on okay so just one more in there and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the the big petals on and we just um, basically um, gonna put these these larger ones on okay and we're going to put them in between in between the ones we just put on so we put these on so we're just going to put large ones in between those like that okay and all the way around and then you've made your sunflower and that's not too bad that's only taken just over 17 minutes okay so yeah this is just ordinary craft foam uh, if you're looking to make one of these you can uh, if you're in the UK just um, nip into um, right am I doing this right yeah yes nip into Hobbycraft it gets a bit confusing when you get to the back ones for some reason well I find it be confusing um, we just need to do them in between in between the ones we've done so let's go this way it'll be easier this way um Yeah, um, so I'm going back the other way because I, I think they're slightly overlapping or I'm just te dead confused or I've put that one too far over. I don't know, but if you get confused, maybe start from the other end and see if, if it makes you less confused. <laughs> right, okay, so that one I'm going to put in there. I think that's probably right. It feels like they're closer together than they need to be, but I think that's right. Yeah, so just... Um, and then if there's anything you're interested in, just get in contact with me on my contact page on my on my um, website. Or you can also contact me on uh, my Facebook business page, okay, privately. That's how you can contact me privately. And I'll get back to you ASAP, okay, about the details of the product. And the, the other thing you could do, if you're thinking of doing that, is when you message me, um, put the um, order number on the message and then I'll know which, which bouquet that you're after. Okay, and maybe a description of it. Just so that I know. So yeah, why do I feel confused? We're just putting them in between these thin ones, alright? That's what we're doing. Don't you get confused too? This kid's getting, getting confused and it's my own... It's my own design and I'm getting confused. <laughs> right, now don't glue the wrong end. Okay, 
So just in between these long thin ones, okay, that's what we're doing, in between these ones. Okay, you can't really go wrong. The other way you could do it, if you really do find it difficult, is to do the maybe do the the sunflowers a different colour. Do not the sunflower, the um, petals a different colour, and then you might be able to know what one you're doing next. But really, you're just looking for these these thin some these thin uh, petals, just gluing them on in between. Yeah, so there needs to be one more, maybe put one more there next to that. And that's what I was a bit confused about because I thought it doesn't look like there's any room to put that in. But I think there is. If I move that over slightly, <laughs> we could get another one in there. So, shall we draw another one out? How much time we got? We've got 20 minutes on there. Or what we could do is we could cheat and just move that over. Let's have a go and I can find, I don't know if there's a piece of craft foam that's big enough for, right okay, to go in the cupboard. It's typical that I needed one more there, just thought I really had measured them all out and everything. So we're just going to basically draw around our template because we want a big petal and we're going to cut that out. And um, stick that on and that'll be done. Okay. I know it's it's been quite, it's been 20, 25 minutes on one flower and that's it. But to be honest with you, I was um, thinking that it's nice. I think it's nice to see things created in real time. That's what I think. I'm not sure if you're with me on that one or not. If you're not, then I can always edit the videos. But to be honest with you, let me just be real with you here. I am not the best at editing. I haven't had much practice at it. And it will take a while for me to get that right. Um, I have edited some of my videos. And you might have seen the end result. Which um, is okay. It's okay. It just is a bit jumpy. Not jumpy, but it's kind of like... Not as smooth as it could be, let's just say. So um, let me know if you want to do it, me to do it, and I will. It just takes a long time to edit a video. And I always found that when I watch the videos, so I'm going to put that in that gap there. When I watch videos, I like that to see them, how that, how it's all done properly. Without, you know, if it's a tutorial, I like to see it all done. So there we are. That is your sunflower. And let's bring back our bouquet and you can see that even though that's slightly smaller than that one it still looks nice okay so um, let me just show you these other flowers quickly um, I'm thinking of doing this flower here because I haven't shown you how to make this and also well we could actually do this one or we could do um, one of these classic roses. So there's a little choices for you that we could do. These are for the Halloween one, but we're going to do them a different colour to that. Okay, so that's your um, choices of flowers. And I might put them all on or just one or two. Okay, so um, yeah. Anyway, um, I will see you again next time. Thank you for watching if you saw this all the way through or if you watched this even a little bit. Um, and... Um, don't forget to press the like and subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. You'll get more videos then. It also helps the channel to grow, okay? All right then, everybody, take care and I'll see you again next time. Okay, bye-bye.